Hello everyone, my name is Amanda and I'll be talking to you today about the effects of implementing structured and unstructured or free play activity in youth. I'm sure we are all aware of children becoming less and less physically active on top of their school day, homework, clubs, sports, extracurricular activities. Children are also feeling overstructured and are not getting as much free time than in previous years. With that, it's important to keep in mind the many developmental and health complications that can come with low levels of physical activity. So we should figure out why this deficit is happening in order to prevent these complications. In my literature review of 10 research articles, I have analyzed insightful feedback, not only from the researchers, but from the participants as well. I found their perspectives to be the most insightful for reasons that I'm sure we can all agree we are more motivated and engaged to participate in something if we know we're going to enjoy it. Well, in this case, the researchers found the majority of the participants were more interested in free play compared to structured play. When asked why they conveyed reasons um, such as not being told what to do, they liked how they could socialize more and they overall were less stressed and had more fun. So now that we know children like free play better, let's talk about why researchers in this situation might prefer structured activity. With the use of direct observation and accelerometers, researchers found that children spent more time physically active during structured activity and more time sedentary during free play. Because researchers saw this increase in physical activity with structured sessions, more and more is being implemented to them and in hopes to prevent um, health and developmental complications. However, since we now know children are feeling overstructured, it's a good idea to either find a balance between the two or a combination. This can ensure that children still get a voice in their freedom to restore their interest and engagement in physical activity. So let's reflect on this. Uh, without knowledge of children's perspectives, we wouldn't have known they were feeling overstressed or um, overstructured from not being able to express their feelings or interest. Uh, we can assume that this is an assisting factor to the decline in physical activity seen in kids. So offering a balance between structured and unstructured activity can serve as a win-win for the kids' enjoyment, engagement levels, as well as their deficit in physical activity. So what can we do to find this balance? Schools can think about offering age-appropriate games as an option for uh, unstructured recess. Gym teachers can also designate a section of time for free play. I remember when I was a kid, my favorite day of the week was Fun Friday for reasons that we could pick activities as a class of what we wanted to do. And if we didn't want to do it, we were still free to participate in any other activity of our own design during that time period. So overall, I think it's important to incorporate both structured and free play activity in children. Um, in doing so, the current lack of physical activity hopefully will improve.